Namibians in different parts of the country are breathing a sigh of relief following good rainfall received since the beginning of the rainy season. The north central parts of the country received the highest rain followed by the central parts as the rainy season progressed. Most of the rainfall predictions, however, did not match the rain received thus far. Then there are pockets of areas which receive exceptionally uh, good rains. These are areas of Ungodiva, Ondangwa, Shagadi on the one end. Then you have in the northwest the Gorekas area. And then over the central regions you have the farm called Okahau, which also receives. It's a farm between Windigo and Hobabes. And there, there, there are these pockets which are indicating that the rains, as I described it at one stage, are not homogeneously uh, distributed. The Zambezi region received below rainfall than forecasted, as well as the Taras and Hardap regions in the southern parts of the country. Derksa says good showers were also received in the central parts, especially in Venduk and Hobabis during December, while rainfall also improved in the Zambezi region during the same period. Zambezi, you know, generally speaking, November they did fairly well. They did very well in November. The problem only came in during December, where they received much lower rain than is generally expected in the area. But the future forecast does not look so promising. The future in the short term doesn't look that promising uh, for me. That is, uh, let's say, let's speak of the next seven days. What we are seeing is only the far northern areas of the country will receive a little bit of light showers uh, over the next coming days. If we look in terms of the month of the rest of January, we are saying we don't also see that much encouraging a, a sign of rain. The weathermen attributed the poor rainfall in some areas to suppressed air conditions and hot air developing from the Indian Ocean affecting rainfall in Namibia. Ondangwa has so far received the highest rainfall of 174,4 point, Ndola received 170 millimeters, Kahenge 158 millimeters, Sivinda 150 millimeters, and Okongo 134 millimeters, respectively, between October and December. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.